All right, I'm going to do a collection update. I think it's probably been a year since I've done one. If you haven't noticed, I've redone the crane room. Put a new floor in, repainted it, new tables and shelves. Biggest update is right there. there. Used to be a wall right there. And then my display shelves back there in the corner. But I took that wall out and everything. So it opened up the room a little bit. I'm not finished yet with the room, obviously. I'm probably going to stain these tables. And put, take this table and the other one out and rebuild it like these. But it'll go from here all the way to the door like it is now. But I'm going to make this wider. It's going to be three foot. It's only two foot right now. I don't think I'm going to keep this table in the middle. I was going to keep it there for like a workbench and keep tools and stuff on, but if I make this table wider, I won't have much room to walk between. Unless I made this table one foot wide because it's two foot now. But that's not really a workbench. So. But all these are not done. I'm going to try and get these all fully set up with Max Boom and Jib. But I don't have that much height from the table. I definitely want to put PTC in Max configuration. But I'll probably put it on the floor in the middle or something. I don't know yet. Or I just might put the rest of the DS boom in it in the jib, like how it usually comes. No extension kit. But I don't know where I'm going to put it. But first thing I got to finish this table. I got a piece over there, but it's two foot wide. It's not three foot, so pretty much useless. There was the SGC rolling base that I made. I got it up on the table now. It still overhangs the three foot table, but it's not all the way back against the wall either. So I can spin it around if I need to. Still got to put the block back on it. I took it apart and cleaned it. And dusted it off. Because it was completely filthy. It stayed in here while I did all the work to the room. It had drywall dust on it and everything. So. Still got to put the hook on that. Still got to find a place for these models to sit somewhere. I have all my mobile cranes set up. Going from smallest to biggest. Obviously. Hidden back there is the sparings mobile tower crane.
trying to display each crane different or with the attachments it has with different lengths of boom or different jib lengths, different offsets. On the bottom shelf are all my trucks. My East flatbeds. The Nelson 3x3x3 is hidden in the back. Here's the East step deck trailer. My two custom made Rinky trailers. Gold hoppers. Up here is all my heavy equipment. The uh, Weiss Brothers Manitowoc lamp. I don't really have anywhere to put it out, put it in here to light it up. I don't have a table or nothing. That wooden crane is something my brother got me for Christmas one year. I wouldn't name each crane, but it would take forever. The video's already at eight minutes. Little carry deck down there. Twelve hundred. Eighteen hundred with only two thirds of the jib. Sixty three hundred fully extended. I was going to have the jib on the 1350, but it's just so long. I wanted to display it with the full jib, but it sticks way out here. And I didn't like it. Plus, it looked like a banana. So I just kept it off. I mean, I got a shorter one I could have put on, but... Basically, same thing as that. Again, I tried to display each crane a different way.
I want to get another display table for right here and put all four 4100s on it. But they're not, they don't have any right now in stock, or, and I don't know if they're making any more or not. On the bottom shelf is all the boom sections, jibs, spare parts, trays, counterweights. My LR 1300, and I want to repaint. It's been sitting apart like this for two years now, or over two years. And up here is the rest of the crawlers. Again, I tried to display each one different or somewhat different. I have no boom on 18,000 right now. It's just back mast. That's pretty much it. I still got to put the trim around this window and caulk it and all that. But I'm, white, I'm trying to find somebody that can match the brick on the outside. And I haven't been able to find anybody that has the same brick. So this house is like 50 something years old. And then there's all the storage boxes, or all the model boxes. Storage. Still got all these pictures and posters to hang. Don't know where I'm gonna hang them up at. But I think if I hang them up though, it's gonna make the room look cluttered. I wanna put some up there though. Maybe there. on the other wall back here but I think I got a lot more than that'll fill that up so there's the new model room updated it's crazy I've already I got a little bit more room now and a new table set up and everything and it still looks like I have no space but I was trying to get all these shelves and tables completely level I originally had one shelf along the whole thing but one shelf wouldn't work. I just have, I just got too much stuff, and with these I can put another shelf up if I need to, or more. The only problem is is that where they split. 
I had different brackets that would that are wider that I could put screws in and tighten it, make it level. But now they're they're just wavy. I can't screw them to make it tight. There's the collection and updated room and all of that. I may have one crane coming for Christmas. It'd probably be one of the new link belts. Don't know which one it would be, but one or the other, I guess. I don't really care which one it is. I'm just really looking forward to the Toy Fair next month. Let's see what new models come out. But hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.